Welcome to the Husky Bear Moon Podcast. It's a sign from a podcast, meaning that it's about nothing in particular. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Husky Barbu. That's the name right there if you're watching the video. That's me, Ariel Duran. And uh, I'm hoping that you guys have had a good week. I hope that everything has been well. And I would like to also thank everyone that has been watching uh, the videos on YouTube. The last video, I don't know if it was a thumbnail I don't know what it was, but there was a lot of more views than normal. So it spiked up and I would like to thank you guys. You're the ones that you guys are there that are watching this for God knows what, because I clearly don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but uh, apparently some of you like it or get a good dose of it. So thank you very much for that. Thank you for uh, watching. Thank you for the likes and thank you for supporting us. This is do- done strictly out of, I don't know, <laughs> pure fucking will, I guess. Anyway, so let us begin again, uh, right away, uh, again, we, like we're going to start again. No, let us begin, all right? So uh, um, if you guys have noticed so far or I haven't said it enough already in previous podcasts, I will say it again. I live in DR. Moi lives in Dominican Republic. Where specifically? None of your fucking business. Anyway, uh, since I live in DR, I, I have to talk and I oftenly do, uh, oftenly do. Again, second language, English. Be, be patient with me. Uh, I usually follow and give some stuff that is happening here. And the latest uh, thing that pissed people off here in DR is this little thing. If you are watching me on video, you will see this. If you're only uh, look uh, listening through audio, I will describe the image. This is a picture of the newest edition of Vogue magazine from the UK. Uh, and in it, it depicts uh, a beach area that is full of litter, trash everywhere. Now, uh, and this beach happens to be a beach in Dominican Republic. As you would imagine, uh, people in DR did not take kindly uh, of this image and are very uh, offended. And I've seen a lot of people post on Instagram pictures of different beaches in DR that are actually look clean, that actually look decent, that actually look way better than the pile of dog shit that the, this picture depicts. Now, uh, I will give some background just in case there's p- some people that are listening that don't know. The photographer that came here actually took like five different pictures and submitted five. Di- well, she actually took more than that, but she actually submitted five different pictures of the five different pictures. They had a more decent representation of the island in, in the beach areas uh, you know, that looked decent because, again, if you are going to take a note from a cover of a magazine and think that all the beaches here are like this, I'm you're sadly mistaken. There are some privately owned beaches in the Dominican Republic that look spotless, that look immaculate, that look awesome. So this is not a fair representation per se. But again, uh, the photographer presented the pictures for good uh nice looking areas and this one that you're seeing here if you're watching on video of the horrendous state of that beach and the editor picked that one and decided to run a story with that okay so why do i bring this to attention well as i already previous mentioned previously mentioned a lot of people here in dr uh, some uh local celebrities lo- local influencers are and some most some most people here in DR are kind of picked up uh, tis, uh, I can't even say pissed off anymore pissed off yes they're angry pissed off very irate of the situation say, stating that it is slandering that the the UK is giving us some horseshit that they're calling bullshit because that's not how DR looks like and and that's not a fair uh, assessment uh, how the situation is 
Now we can go and look at both sides of the story and both sides have a very valid argument. I will try to lean a little bit into the center because that's what I always try to do. I try to go to the middle. I always try to go to the middle because once you go to extremes, you're going to be blinded by the perceptions of what you think that things should be. So I don't aim that way. I try to always give it, give, uh, keep it center. Now, are beaches in the Dominican Republic in that condition as the picture depicted? Yes, that is real. I uh, I can't hide the truth. Uh, the sad part is the sad reality is that not a lot of Dominicans take care of their natural habitat. If you watch, if you've been paying attention to the local news here, you would realize that that deforestation is a real issue, and even in protected areas, and that's going on by this government that is now leaving in in the next month the the people that have that have been assigned in charge of these areas are in total fuck it mode and just selling properties that are owned by the state and protected by law as a national park or national forest and they're just defore uh, uh just deforesting everything and site just because money people want money and there are a lot of you know there are a lot of good trees here in dr we are rich in mahogany in dr if you didn't notice if you didn't know dr is very rich in mahogany and there are some protected areas uh certain uh, places uh you know state parks and whatnot that are filled to the brim with mahogany but you can't by law touch these areas because these are protected areas they're designed to stay that way in order to protect the fauna of DR and, you know, keep a good uh, ecosystem here in the island and our ha- part of the island, our half of the island. Can't speak that for Haiti. And that's not a, 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 a push on them. I'm just stating what we do here in DR. But as I am stating right now and being honest. The local government that, again, once again, they're leaving now because they lost the election, have done a shit poor job of keeping that environment safe. So, was the assessment of Vogue UK incorrect by presenting that image? No, not in part. No, that is true. Uh, We don't take good care of our environment am i saying the entire thing is fucked up the entire island no there are certain areas that are as i said you can eat off the ground just spotless and this is not condemning dr and saying we're a bunch of pigs and we're a bunch of this we're a bunch of that you can take this statement and use it practically anywhere else in the planet okay people do fucked up things you can't control it there are good people there are bad people there are people that are a little mix in between of both have you watched the sopranos okay so it is what it is am i defending the dominican government for doing a shitty job no fuck them i'm glad they're gone i'm glad they're leaving i hope that the new government that is coming now is do is going to do a better job but if they don't do a better job in fixing this shit Fuck them too, because I don't, I don't, I don't have an allegiance to anyone other than what's being done right. So, yes, people from DR, calm the fuck down. If the image is real, if it was not doctored, and they took that picture, and that picture was real, then calm the fuck down. If we have done something about it, good. We clean the problem. We learn from our lesson. We move on. If not, then we are getting called out. Don't be bitching about it. Do something about it and clean that shit up. Okay? Okay. Fine. Next subject. (laughs) This is going to be like... I I almost didn't want to do this. Because it's like shooting fish in a barrel. It's fucking easy. That's why I hardly talk about Trump or politics in the U.S. Because politics in the U.S. have become a clown show. Have become a shit show. And... If anyone has any sort of investment on any of the candidates, the official candidates, the two guys that are running 
I pity your fucking souls. I pity you. Because one is an asshole and the other one is dead. He doesn't even, he hasn't been brought up to the attention of it. The, the, Trump is an asshole and, 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 and Biden is weekend at Bernie's on loop. If you don't get that reference, Google it and watch the fucking movie, all right? Don't be fucking coming after me like, what the fuck is he talking about? Fuck you. It's a good reference. I know some people at my age are laughing their asses off right now with that Weekend and Bernie shit. So, uh, be that as it may, this is kind of in the politics section in the U.S. because the third candidate... Oh, yes. Yes, I think you already know what I'm talking about. And here's the image. And Well... Before I go into the image, I'm not going to go into the whole meltdown thing that he went through. Uh, you know, that rally. Can we call it rally? That public demonstration of I'm batshit crazy moment. Let's call it that. Yeah, let's call it that. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that because, again, shooting fish in a barrel. But we are going to talk about... <laughs> Uh, this okay here's the image for those of you who are not watching the video version on youtube it says kanye west tweets then deletes claims of his family's concern and more i took out the article I, i'm not going to show it but it basically if you follow kanye west which i would imagine at this point since the man hasn't done music in a while I imagine at this point you follow him on Twitter for com comedic reasons or you're actually sincerely concerned for him, which I applaud if you are. But if you are just making fun of him, please come join me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm going to fucking burn in hell for this. Anyway, uh, the case is that Kanye did a uh, bunch of tweets during the week which he then deleted as the article here states uh, which he claimed that he is being uh, his wife is trying to get him uh, committed basically and he's trying to divorce his wife <laughs> I bet that goes fucking gangbusters then again this woman must be uh, inoculated at this point by all his crazy shit Cause how many years has been he's have they been in already in this shit? I don't know. I don't know how many years. They must have like four or five, four or five years married already. I don't know. It, it, she must have now like a master's degree on dealing with this man. And I will say man respectfully because I will not question the art that he's brought into the world. I will not question his talent and whatnot, but the man is crazy. The man is fucking apeshit crazy. He's out of his fucking mind. And now we add the fact that he believes in God. Well, not believing God. He's a believer in Jesus. And now we add that into the insanity. And I would like to preface that after stating that, that I am a believer and I lean toward believing in Christ. So I guess we, I have to join him in that madness, I guess. I don't know. I, but at least I'm not tweeting my shit on public about my marriage and shit and trying to throw my wife under the bus or actually stating lines of help. I'm crazy. This bitch is ruining my life. Please. I'm blinking. If you guys think that I'm in danger, if you remember that Joe Rogan bit or he did about us, uh, the person formerly known as Bruce Jenner and I'm trying to be PC here before I get cancelled then again I don't have that many followers to be cancelled so fuck that Bruce Jenner <laughs> uh, if, you've see, if you haven't seen that bit I would recommend for you to go watch that bit That that is one of the best bits I've ever seen in my life where he just transforms into a fucking demon that like the Kardashians just uh, whispering in his ear and whatnot. I, I can't do it justice. I won't even try to. So I would just recommend you go look on YouTube for that uh, Joe Rogan, Bruce Jenner uh, bit that he did it is fucking hilarious and it's awesome. So I recommend you guys go look for that. Okay, so back to the whole Kanye thing. Um, do I pity him? 
Yeah. Uh, the man is, I, I would dare say, way over his head. He is running for president. Then he's. Then they made him his as assessors told him like, "No, don't do it. Please don't do it. Don't do it. People think you're fucking crazy enough as is. Don't fucking do this." And then he was like, you know, doing the whole James Brown routine. I am giving old references like a motherfucker. But be that as it may, he was going with the jeans brown, but you know, they put the robe on him and like, oh no, I can't do this no more. I can't do this no more. And then, ah, I'm right back, back. <laughs> That's going to be a clip for YouTube right there. Anyway, uh, yeah, so he's back in the race, back at it. I don't know what, man, how many votes he's going to get because he is as batshit crazy as the other two. So, uh, the elections of the United States hold between a narcissistic asshole, a narcissistic, racist, fake Christian asshole, a dead person, and a crazy person. Good luck, America. Good luck. Good luck. Speaking of that narcissistic, uh, uh, asshole, uh, <laughs> It sounds like I hate Trump. Look, uh, I just want to clear this up. I'm not the type of guy to just throw this motherfucker under the bus because he does a very well job of that by himself. I mean, he doesn't need any help being thrown under the bus. He does it gangbusters by himself. I mean, it's like every day he just opens his mouth and just shit spews out of it. And like every once in a while, he'll throw a nugget of truth because, you know, in a river of shit, there must be some gold that comes out, I guess. I'm trying to look for a metaphor here to, to, to justify his crazy ass bullshit. Anyways, uh, this week, uh, he was asked about the Jelaine Maxwell case. And, and the reporters asked him in the White House what he thinks about the Jelaine Maxwell case. And I shit you not, this motherfucker, uh, he says, well, I'm not aware of the case. I don't know what's going on, but I wish her well, whatever it is. Here's a picture. <laughs> in case you're not watching, again, I have to reiterate, we are on YouTube. So go find us there, subscribe, follow us there. So if you're in, uh, watching us right now, I'm showing you now a, like I'm showing the presentation here with my hand here. There on my right, you can see uh, the now deceased Mr. Epstein <laughs> by his own force. We don't know, you know, macabre uh, patterns happened there that let us not say he didn't kill himself or he did we don't know i don't want those powerful people after me then again they don't know who the fuck i am and we have his girl there just and who is there on his right well what do you know it's trumpy and ivanka so how can this motherfucker not be aware of what is happening to this woman when you see a fucking picture right there of them hanging out together. And uh, there is video evidence of what happened in that fucking island. Uh, uh, well, not video evidence of what happened in the island. God, that uh, uh, that would blow up the internet right now. No, no, no. There's evidence of Trump stating that like a lot of shit happened in that island. You can ask Prince Andrew. The balls on this motherfucker. And now he says, oh, I don't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. That poor bastard. He doesn't know. Yeah, right. Uh, and if you're watching the video now, you're, uh, if you continue watching now, you can see I'm putting out my boy here, Andrew Schultz, like I know him, <laughs> and like he needs more promotion. He posted a video where he talks about this issue a lot better than I do. Because he's a professional comedian and I am an, uh, I'm an asshole that is just doing a fucking video and, and podcast thingy in a spare room in his apartment in DR. 
always trying to do something make worthwhile shit got a little too weird man anyway <laughs> uh as you can see uh the headline right there from andrew schultz video uh are trump and zuck protecting pedo pedos well are they well you're gonna have to watch the video to find out there and you can see it uh, learn his piece but anyway i have my piece on to say about the issue uh regarding uh trump not knowing is he full of shit is the day long does the sun bright is the sun bright does water wet does fire burn do books have pages i rest my case so uh why is he the fucking lying like he doesn't know what's going on well because he was one of the patrons in that little get together island and this woman has the goods on everyone that ha was there because epstein he was just into the party this bitch was recording and taking notes and had notations on every single motherfucker that was putting his thing inside the little kids so she got the whole thing and notice also by the way that neither side the blue or the red republicans or democrats have said dick about this case last week we talked about how a a guy out of the blue with a fedex uniform shot the family of a federal judge that's investigating the epstein case and again, I'm not big on fucking conspiracy theories, but when everything fucking matches together, come on now. Come on now. Come on. There's something here. There's something here. That motherfucker was killed for sure. And this woman hasn't been killed because she got the fucking dirt on all of these sons of bitches. And that's the reason why she isn't dead yet. But they'll find a way. Oh, yeah. I, I believe they'll find a way. But this woman, for me, in, for my uh, assessment, she's the smart one because she knows what the fuck is and she knows how to move the buttons of these motherfuckers. So she's not going to go down like her husband or her man. Just, you know, sorry for the very dark illustration. <laughs> he did now and he raped a bunch of kids. So fuck him. Hope he's burning him now. That's not very Christian to say. Then again, I'm not a very good Christian, so that is what it is. So anyway, stop me if you heard this one before. Pentagon and UFOs. There are off-world vehicles not made on this earth. New York Times reports classified Pentagon hearings on crash recovered UFOs, off-world vehicles not made on this earth. That is on July 24th, 2020. I put the date on there and everything. Holy shit. Like, everything that I've said so far is should be like afterthought. This should have been the fucking news of the century. This should have been the fucking news of humanity. Of the history of humanity. This should have been the fucking biggest story fucking ever. When the fucking Pentagon is admitting publicly that they found fucking spaceships. They found fucking spaceships. Like, uh, what the fuck is going on, people? Why are we not fucking around? Well, why are we not just going ape shit right now? Why are we not fucking blowing our minds right now? What the fuck, people? There is life out there. <laughs> I don't know how... It's the, like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? What do you want me to express right now? There's life out there. So, fuck you, atheist. <laughs> we kind of had it right, we believers. We kind of had it right. We kind of had it right. So, fuck you, atheist. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, what the... I mean... What if Jesus is Superman? I mean, Superman is supposed to be a metaphor of Jesus. And now it turns out that Jesus is Superman. 
Let me joke here, people. I'm not sacrilege. Uh, this is not sacrilege. Some of you may be interpreting this as sacrilege. I'm just trying to be funny. Don't take this so offensively. <sighs> That's another fucking thing. But anyway, this is fucking huge news. This is huge. Huge. Let me let me show this again. Another angle, another way. The Pentagon has reportedly found off-world vehicles not made on this Earth. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? So we're not alone. Michael Jackson was right. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best reference. <sighs> I mean, it's kind of aligning to the whole thing, you know, pedophiles and, well, alleged pedophile in the case of Michael. Alleged. Alleged. I'm not going to make fun of the dead, the poor man. But if he did fuck kids, fuck him. I'm burning hell. If he did. If he did. So, uh, what we're going to do with this information, guys, I mean, uh, Obviously, uh, we are being watched. We are, I, I, I don't know what to say. We're being watched. We're being observed. Uh, probably the reason why these, uh, uh, species from other life, uh, other place um, somewhere out of this earth has not made contact is, with us is because, well, fucking look at us. Look at the U.S. The U.S. is the perfect example as to why these beings probably have not communicated with us. Like, you want a bigger shit show than the U.S.? Right now, the U.S. is like a total shit show. A total shit show where everyone is offended for everything and logic is just a fucking public toilet. It just gets shit on and peed on and... Drag down to the fucking floor and people beat the shit out of logic because fuck it. I don't know what else to say. I mean, probably that's the reason why they don't decide, they have decided not to make any contact with us. And you know what? Good. Good on them. They're, that shows that they're having higher intelligence. It's like, well, we're not going to deal with this bullshit. Like, look at these fucking idiots. It goes down to the my whole. I had a bit in my head, like I'm a comedian, <laughs> but I came up with a little bit in my head. If I ever do stand up, like what would be God's reaction? Why, uh, like why God doesn't talk to us? Like why, if there is a God, why wouldn't He want to talk to us? Well, it's because if He is God and He's able to watch everything at the same time and be everywhere and and do and see everything at the same time. Think about it. We are like his Netflix. <laughs> he just has to, you know, switch. Uh, like, he, well, he stopped watching this series. Let me watch this one. And he just look at, look at these fucking idiots. Like, I made them, but fuck. They're so fucking stupid. And I guess that's the reason why the aliens wouldn't want to come here. So, they're aliens. We're not alone. We're fucked. Now let's go to a little more somber thing. <laughs> yeah, we go, we go up and then we go down. This week we lost uh, two legends. Uh, we lost Regis Philman. Uh, I, we, you, if you're watching the video here, there he is with the Macho Man Randy Savage. Both of them are now gone. And on the bottom we have Jason Saxon, who was with Bruce Lee and in Enter the Dragon. And you can see them there in that picture as well. And they are also both gone and we lost th those two legends this week so uh respect for regis regis always promoted wwe or wwf back in the day in a show regis and uh i was gonna say regis and kelly but it was actually the other name which i cannot remember now because although i am old i'm not that old so i can't go back that back in time anyway he promoted a lot of wwe uh, he let a lot of wrestlers uh, uh, go there and promote him, uh, promote themselves there. So, uh, Regis, you'll be missed. Uh, Jason, Sa uh, Jason Saxon was in Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee. So, automatically, he gets legend cred right there. 
He's also done movies with Clint Eastwood. He was also in Nightmare on Elm Street. The dude, like, for 30 or 40 years did not age. Did not age. And then the 90s hit, and then, well, that's when he, the genes started to say, what, I'm 60? Okay, I guess we're going to get old now. And then he did age. But, like, he spent, like, oh, also a movie that Jason Saxon did, uh, Beverly Hills Cop 3. Not as fondly remembered as the pre- the other two installments in that series. But still, a uh, man was a legend. Uh, did a movie with Bruce Lee. That's like, you get your fucking street cred up right there, son. Can't go any higher than that in Regis Philbin. You're okay, my book, because you promoted wrestling. So, uh, may you two rest in peace. Okay, uh, let's get that out of our system. And let's talk about a little bit something that we were already talking about. Why people have a hard time believing Christians. Now, this is a very broad term because Christianity has a billion subdivisions. So I can't uh, encapsulate all of Christianity into one little bubble because you can't. It's very difficult. It's like trying to find a genre of metal. You know how many fucking subgenres of metal they are? There is. Whoo! You're gonna spend a week, a year, finding all these subgenres of metal, and there's metal for everyone. And guess what? There's a version of Christianity for everyone. There's metal churches. There are gay Christian churches. There's a bunch of churches, different denominations, different beliefs. They all adhere to one creed that Jesus. Christ is God and he died for our sins, resurrected on the third day and is now sitting sitting in heaven the right side at right hand side of God. That's basically more or less what most Christian uh, believers believe. That's the gist of it. But then after that, it goes to a whole complicated issue. So uh lately, you know, church attendance down due to, you know, corona but also Lack of belief on a lot of people now. A lot of people have a lot of doubts, and you know, and in part, I would dare say is merited. I would dare say, and I could talk about my issues, but then I will bore you guys to death. But in my end, I went through a crisis of faith a few years ago, and I've talked about it on the podcast before. You can go listen to past podcasts. Uh, I think the, the title of one is Why I Still Believe in God. It's still, uh, you can check it out uh, in the archives. I used to say archives. <laughs> because, again, second language and I'm an idiot. But yeah, you can check that out in the archives uh, and listen out there my reasons as to why I still hold a dear to, uh, I adhere myself to still the Christian faith, although I do not practice it 100%. Hence my dirty fucking language, as I already am explaining right now. Nonetheless, uh, why uh, Christians get such a bad rap right now? Well, uh, in part, I would say one part, and specifically this goes out into the States. It's because in the States, you have a guy like Donald Trump who is not and should not be the poster boy for Christianity. (laughs) And he's trying to because he surrounded himself by uh, a lot of pastors and a lot of uh, a lot of evangelical pastors notice though that most of those pastors are white as fuck and are in the televangelist route now uh there might be two or three televangelists that might actually be doing the job where sincere reasons and might not have any ideological hatred or doing this as a ga- a, a game to get access to people's money and whatnot. But the great majority of them, I think they are in it for the fucking money and just to swindle people left and right. They're fucking used car salesmen and they're selling a bill of goods that is bullshit it's more of a feel good message than anything. It's less Christianity, more about look at all the shit I got. This could be you if you believe the same shit that I do. 
and been there, done that, worn the t-shirt and burned it into a fucking crisp because I don't follow that shit no more. And I, I, and I do not mince words when I call it shit because it is 1000% garbage bullshit what these fucking assholes sell. And there are a lot of people that have went through that route, fell for that shit, and they didn't come up on top like I did. Like, you know, I just threw out the bullshit aside and just decided to concentrate on what is real. And there's a lot of people that do not concentrate on the real and mostly concentrate on the bullshit. And uh, unfortunately, Christianity right now is riddled with bullshit. It is riddled with bullshit everywhere. And I think that's one of the, or if not the top reason why people don't believe in Christianity. You know, I mean, you can go deeper with, you know, the inconsistencies in the Bible and whatnot. You can go deeper than that, but that, that requires, you know, a little bit more thought after the fact. But I think the main reason is just that, you know, Christianity has done a shit poor job in terms of actually helping people. And it's done more of a job of, you know, swindling people and taking their shit and asking and asking and asking and asking and taking and taking and taking. And people are just like, whoa, what the fuck, dude? I mean, it, you're the only one that's getting rich here. God damn it. And again, I would like to reiterate that not all churches do this. Not all Christianity is about this. It's just the bad, shitty motherfuckers. I would say the same for about, you know, atheism. I mean, nothing has killed more people in the 20th century than atheism. Like, uh, have you heard of Stalin? Have you heard of the uh, killings that the, China, uh, the socialist China did and still doing? So, uh, you know, th again, and I'm not trying to pick on points and saying this side is better than the other. It's human beings. As long as human beings are involved, it's going to fuck up. That's my that's my uh, prediction because people want to say, oh, no, Christianity is the problem. No, people are the fucking problem. You can substitute, uh, uh, like, you can destroy Christianity, and you think that the the or destroy all religions, and you think things are gonna get better. No, because you're still dealing with the fucking problem, which is people. People are the problem, not the fucking ideology. You can, you can, anybody can have an ideology and then abuse it to the billionth degree just to, for their personal gains because that's what happens all the time. So stop blaming Christians, stop blaming atheists, stop blaming whatever the fuck ideology. The problem is not the ideology, the problem is fucking people. People are the problem. People are the ones that twist shit to their benefit and convince themselves that they're doing the right thing when they're actually fucking the rest of the world. That's the fucking problem. So stop pretending that your view, view is the right one because I know what is right because my heart is pure and all this bullshit. Fuck all that shit. Get your head out of your ass and start w seeing things for what they are and look at the bigger picture of whole entire world, the, the big picture of the world, of life, of everything, that your actions affect everyone. So stop being a fucking dick. Whether you're a Christian or an atheist, whatever the fuck, stop being a fucking asshole and do good for others and stop being so fucking selfish. There. I got to smile every once in a while just to let you know that there is a heart beating in there. <laughs> okay, and this will be my closer. Uh, because I have to bring up wrestling every once in a while because I am a mark. I mean, I, if you can see right there behind me, I have some fun calls of the Young Bucks. And I, we have added this week uh, Mr. Showstopper, Mr. Main Event, Mr. WrestleMania himself, HBK, the Heartbreak Hit, Shawn Michaels. So he's now a part of the collection of Funko. I will try to, you know, present uh, the office here a little bit more better. In terms of showing you guys everything. So I am a mark. I'm not hide it. I'm trying not to hide. My uh, likes. Uh, the things that I enjoy in life. But okay. Be, uh, pardon that long ass introduction. Now let's we'll talk about. the Practically the only. Interesting wrestling news. Of the week. If I may say so. 
in which was the interaction between Pat McAfee and Adam Cole in the Pat McAfee show in his podcast. Uh, Pat McAfee and Adam Cole have had a rocky relationship, to say the least. Uh, it seems that they don't see eye to eye. Maybe because stature and whatnot. I'm not going to make fun of Adam Cole. He can kick my ass. Anyway, uh, and so Pat McAfee invited Adam Cole to his show. And I've saw I've seen bits and parts of it. But what I can say, say is that McAfee was being a total dick to uh, Adam Cole. Adam Cole was near where McAfee lives uh, because he went to visit family. And McAfee invited him to his show and Adam Cole accepted. And uh, then Adam Cole, pers- uh, I mean, McAfee is just proceeded to rip him apart and make fun of him. And Adam Cole was just, you know, take it those taking those licks up the chin, but then he got done and did the 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 unthinkable sin, which calling him out for his size, and that is something that has been critiqued on Adam Cole for a while because Adam Cole is not a big dude, although he is a wrestler and is a fucking great wrestler, if I may say so. He doesn't have, you know, the traditional. 1980s steroid up the guilds look he just looks like a normal dude and he's not that tall either but he can do shit in the rain that is uh, athletic and admirable and i am a fan of adam cole so uh mcafee was being a total dick in the entire interview and then adam cole just had it went up to mcafee's face and Called him out on his bullshit. The producer came out. Uh, Adam Cole shoved him and then proceeded to leave. And and there. Now, what has been the debate in the wrestling world or in the internet wrestling community, the infamous IWC, has been that it, whether was this a work or a shoot? Work, uh, for you non-marks out there, means was it staged or a shoot? Was it real? Um... Some wrestlers, uh, like Mark Henry and uh, uh, Bully Ray, formerly uh, Bubba Ray Dudley, uh, have come out and say that this act- was actually real. This was a shoot, as they say in the uh, wrestling world. This is real. This is not bullshit. This is not an angle. Ma- Pat McAfee, by the way, is not a wrestler. If you know him by, back in his football days, that's on you. <laughs> I don't follow football at all. But if you know him, he's not a wrestler. He's done some commentary for WWE. So he's kind of associated with the brand, but not as a, a an active uh, superstar. He's not a superstar. He's not a wrestler. He's just like a TV personality, a play-by-play guy, does some commentary or does some interviews. You know, he's, he's, he's an image or a talking head in the WWE, specifically on the NXT brand. So... He and Matt and Cole have seen themselves uh, quite a few times in the backstage area. And for what I've been told is that McAfee's always been kind of a dick to Adam Cole because of the said size issue. So if that is fucking real, uh, kudos for, uh, I guess kudos because it got, it got me talking. I'm talking. If it's staged, then I'm like, um, what's the point then? Is this supposed to be like the introduction for McAfee to go inside the, the ring and do a work uh, and have, uh, you know, like uh, uh, something against Adam Cole? I don't know. Uh, I, this is like the very uh, ver- the one of the very few times that in wrestling I can't predict because wrestling and specifically on WWE and it is predictable as fuck. It is predictable as anything that you can ever imagine. Like, if you have the amount of time that you've been watching wrestling like I have, you can practically predict every single match how it's going to go down because they have done it to death. They have done it to death. There's hardly been an original thought in the WWE. And lately they have tanked. The, The only thing in WWE that is worth watching is NXT, in my opinion. In my opinion. I could be wrong. You can have your opinion, whatnot. But in my opinion, Ari Durant's NXT is the shit. NXT is where the buck stops in terms of actual wrestling, 
actual booking, actual storylines, actual wrestlers getting on top, actual so- development on wrestlers, I feel that NXT has been done right and it's being handled right. And I already went through my uh, shit from last week. But unfortunately, NXT is not the flagship. NXT is like an afterthought and it is barely something that Vince McMahon has touched or thinking of touching. So, uh, uh, AEW has been kicking NXT's ass. And how I jumped to AEW, I don't know. But anyway, AEW is kicking, is killing it right now. Raw and SmackDown, I haven't watched forever which is unfortunate because they have a good champion right now in Drew McIntyre he is a fucking beast of a man a great wrestler and it's a shame that in this era well, you know also we have to add to the fact that you know the COVID thing no crowds allowed in the arenas and no arenas that's hurting because you know a big part of the matches is when you hear that roar of the crowd and whatnot. That adds a lot of the element to the matches. So, uh, yeah. But again, with the whole Adam Cole and Pat McAfee thing, I don't know if it's a shoot or a work. I don't know. I don't know. If it's a work again, I don't know where that's heading. If it's, uh, if it was a shoot, then good. I mean, the old adage that says any publicity is good publicity. So I guess uh, that publicity for Adam Cole and for N- the NXT brand, seeing their former world champion or, or, or former champion, uh, former NXT champion, seeing him, uh, like they say here in the Armandal Pal Carajo, <laughs> uh, uh, Ma- uh, Pat McAfee uh, was aces. I mean, it's good publicity. It's just that it scratches my head if it, if it was a work. You know, it scratches my head. But if it was a shoot, it's uh, quite understandable. Because if a guy had been just calling me, fucking being a dick to me on his show, and you kind of feel like, you know, this is his house. I'm not going to come here to disrespect. But if you're being a dick, you know, you, you're just going to fucking blow up. So, yeah, that's it. So, I guess as we run out of topics to talk about and... I think this has been a good one so far. What do you guys think? Well, you will let me know by hitting those likes on the YouTube or listening to the podcast wherever you're listening to your podcast. I would like to remind you guys that we still have the Tee Public store. The links are in the description. You can go there and buy, purchase your T-shirts, whatever T-shirts that you want. We have a lot of uh, different uh, designs. I can't show them to you right now due to reasons but there was a sale a few days ago and i hope that some of you took advantage i tried to post it on my social media or on the social media of the podcast which is at the husky bad uh uh it, on instagram and at the underscore husky underscore Babu on twitter so uh those are the social media links that you can follow us i think we also have a facebook page but that shit has not <laughs> It's basically non non-existent because like very few people give me follows there. I mean, it's more active on the Instagram thing for sure. So just follow the, the uh, me on Instagram there at uh, at the Husky Barbu, and you'll get all the details. I'll let you know when the podcast is up or any hiccups that we're going through because I try to be as honest and and straight up as possible. So anyway, I think this is it. Uh, I would like to thank you guys for uh, subscribing, for watching, for listening, for paying attention to this. This has been a project that I've done purely out of grit because of fuck it. And I mean, we're all locked in in the house. Might as well do something a little bit more productive other than just showing some fucking drawings that I do every once in a while, which you can check out as well uh, if you want to. I have, I have a page in Deviant Art and Art Station. I'll try to put the links on that there as well on the description. So anyway, this has been the Husky Bad Bull. This is Harry Duran. Take care. Bye, guys.